good? Good, man. It's, it's your boy, One Sneaker Nation. Um, your boy, Sneaker Ambassadors. Yeah, yeah. And man. welcome to The Drop. The, to The Drop, man. First episode of The Drop, man. Um, Absolutely. Me and this guy have been knowing each other a long time, man, and uh, we just, it's our first episode, so we just kind of want to do a little bit of introduction. I'm going to let you go first, man. Yo, man, hey, we uh, authored the book, uh, Top 50 Sneakers of All Time at What's Sneaker Nation. Uh, we did that with uh, In Need of Heat. What's up, Leo? Holla at me, man. What's good, Leo? How you feeling? And our uh, follow-up, 25 years of the Air Jordan 6, called The 6. That's his, that's his shoe, y'all. That's the shoe, y'all. That's, that's the one. That's the one right there. Yeah, so. so. I want to present that to y'all. It's for sale, both of them. Um, so, a little history about me. Been collecting sneakers a long time. Uh, first couple of sneakers I knew that um, I was going to be, it was probably going to be a, a long haul for me. Uh, when I was a younger kid, uh, for some reason, that Air Max 90 did something to me. Right. Um, the Bo Jacksons, the orange and blue. Oh. That blue and yellow, yeah, like all those sneakers did something to me, and after that it was a wrap. Um, been collecting sneakers a long time. Sometimes I'm hot on them, sometimes I'm cold on them. Sometimes you know, I just go a while without without buying some. Um, always just like to create sneaker content, like you said, we created those two books. Um, interested in the history, interested in everything that makes sneakers go. Um, the story that a sneaker may have. Um, I just just love sneakers. I love the culture. Um, just everything that goes with it, man. What about you? Yeah, man. Hey, um, been dealing with sneakers for a long time, bro. Um, really cut my teeth on the New Balance, the 574 in particular, kind of growing up. I lived in Connecticut, up in Bridgeport for a little bit. So that's kind of what we knew up there. Um, even younger than that, I was messing around with the kangaroos, had a brown uh, leather pair that was mad dope. Okay. You know, I think I, they started talking to me. Yeah, okay, so, it's all right if you all had those. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah and then, yeah. you know, when I got, in, got into the Jordans, man, it was really the Cardinal 7. That did something for that you. That did something for gotcha. me. Gotcha, so gotcha. That, that pair definitely means the most to me. What's the first pair you ever bought with your own money, man? Oh, man, the 10s. The 10s? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, but yeah. I think the first I ever bought with my own money, like, I didn't, Probably might have been those um, 15s, bro. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The UNC pair or the Obsidian? So, I had a couple of pairs of those. I had a couple of pairs of those, but that was like the first time I was like, okay, this is all my own money. I ain't asking nobody. It's all me. So, I was probably that was probably the first pair. What was that price point like? Yeah, I don't even remember. Not what it is right now. How about that? Even for a pair of ones. But, yeah, whatever. It is awesome. It's ridiculous right now. Yeah, so... um. This is our show, The Drop, and um, we're going to try to be very consistent and bring our shows on the regular. Sometimes it might be one of us, sometimes it might be two of us, you know what I mean? Okay. Um, had a couple of topics we wanted to touch on. Um, first topic I wanted to talk on, a touch on was uh, at Oneness. Yeah, Oneness. Uh, Not for sale. Not for sale. Not for, not sale, for resale. Not, um, yes. Making yes. people making people walk out of the store. So, so you... You cop the sneaker. Yes. Right? Yes. They make you put it on in yeah. front of them. Yeah. The, the doors are locked, I'm sure. I don't know, because at that point, that could be considered. Okay. Okay, we're not going to go there. Okay. And then they're walking out with the stiff leg. Yeah, with the stiff leg, or maybe I don't want to get too dirty, or maybe these sneakers don't even fit my feet, because I have big plans for them. That's right. But they done hit you with the okie doke. Hit you with so the how, how do you feel about that, man? So yeah, over at one, so they're walking out, you know, stiff legged. Not, not bending or creasing the, the shoes or whatnot, so they, they can still sell them without the box near dead stop. Yeah, because I don't think they were allowed to leave with the box. Nah. nah. Okay, so that's that's major. What do well, you think, man? Well, I, for me as a consumer, as a collector, you, you got to give me the box, bro. Okay. You okay. got to give me the box. Okay, okay. That's kind of how But I you kind of know what's going on in the streets these days, so... I could kind of see their motivation. That's right. Um, I think there was. I think this was done before with a with a pair of SBs where they you had to do some kind of. You had to skate. You had to be, prove you could skate. You I don't know what them. sneaker it was. I, I feel like it was that 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 Tiffany high that dunk. Really? Yeah. I want to say it was that one. So this is not the first time it's ever happened. Not the first time. Okay. Not okay. Cool. Time. Okay. All right. You know. Cool. So you were okay with that? Yeah. Cool. Okay. Cool. All right. Okay. Um, me, I was a little indifferent. 
to it. I understand the resale game. Um, I know you know that. Um, I'll be lying to you if I act like I'm holy than down. I ain't never <laughs> sold a pair of sneakers to somebody. If right. you're acting like that, then shame on you. We all we all done try to come up a little bit. Easy. Um, yeah, but yeah. I just don't do it as a, it's not like something I do for income. Well, it's Christmas season. You're yeah. trying to pay that rent. Yeah, that yeah. Car note. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, when you try to corner the market, you know, and then you don't make that money back, sometimes that kind of. Yeah, yeah. Good don't really little, sit too well. Good look crazy. Okay, That's right. That's okay. Right. So, I, 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 while I understand it, I, I thought that was you know, maybe a little bit overboard. You know, just a little bit. Well, here's the thing. I mean, it was either that or they gonna get backdoored, right? Yeah. So regardless, regardless. But I'm I pretty, mean, give me my box, though, player. Well, like I feel some kind of way when I walk out of the outlet and I ain't got the top to my box. Well. That's the outlet, so. You know what I mean? It's okay. part of the game. Okay, cool. All right, we'll leave it at that. Yeah. We'll leave it at that. Okay. It's part of the game. Um, how do you feel about the shoe in particular? <sighs> Is this another ploy to try to. Yeah, it's another ploy to Gain man. hype for yeah, sneakers on, and man. stuff like come that. On. Like, there was nothing special about the come shoe on. except we, that you did the Virgil thing and wrote in big letters on it, which is the thing now, and we, now you can put the Nike sign any way you well, want. And Well, we knew the M.O., because history kind of repeats itself with J.B. We knew last year they kind of flooded the market, right? So they had to get back to that level of exclusivity. So that's what they're doing right now. And they're gotcha. hitting, hitting cast over the head with that. Resale jumped up to $500, $600 just for this sneaker alone. Gotcha. Gotcha. When there's nothing more so than the bread toe, right? Okay, okay. Uh, you know, black toe. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, they had the ring pairs that came out. Yeah, just, yeah. just just, write some black letters on it. That's yeah. what you got. Mm, so that's a trend now, right? I might, I might, I might go do that. It's no, don't do it. No. Okay, cool. Right. I'm going to chill out. It's I'm going to chill out. He said chill out. I'm going to chill out. Yeah. I'm going to yeah. chill out. I'm going to chill out. Um, next topic I wanted to bring up. Um, you know I'm a big fan of customs. No doubt. Um, how do you feel like the community kind of looks at customs? Is it still like a thing that you don't do? Is it still things that yeah. like people still kind of funny it's about still, customs? Oh, yeah, like yeah. you still have a good amount of people? Come on, man. A lot of cats still funny about that. Yeah. You know. They, you know, they, they, they think if you put something on a custom, you know, like a like a Supreme or yeah, something like yeah, that, right? Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, it, it's a fake custom. Yeah. No, it's a custom. It's a, it's custom. a custom. Okay. It's a custom. Okay, gotcha. You know, cats, they just get salty about they're, they're, any and everything. Okay, okay you know, cool. They, where's the, the uh, imagination at? Where's... where's so I don't look like everybody at? when that's like, right. like when a sneaker comes out. Right, so it's like a mindless drone. Okay, gotcha. So one of the shoes in particular that caught my attention was uh, Air Jordan 11 done yeah. by uh, Souls by Sir. Right, right. At Souls by Sir on IG. Um, basically, he took an 11, right? And he customized it. It looked like that uh, Miami Heat jersey that we all love. Right. You know what I mean? That yeah. you see pictures of, you be like, oh, my God. Um, he killed it. He killed it, huh? Yeah, bro. He it's destroyed that shoe. Yeah, it's next level. Like, next level. it's nothing like a beautiful oh, custom, man. Like and you know, there's a couple of guys, you know, especially me and Sneaker Ambassadors, you know me when I see beautiful artwork on the shoe. Shout it out. I got to lose my mind, man. Yeah, you've been so, ahead with that. Um, I feel like that one kind of, like, took my breath away a little bit. I was yeah. just like, it stopped me in a moment. Like, uh, it, I can say a moment in time. I was like, oh, snap. Like, he did his thing on that one, yeah. man. Um, and just do it on 11. Yeah, because that's not easy. It's man. not easy, bro. You that's not with easy. Leather. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's not easy. The he did his thing. mesh. Yeah, yeah. That's not easy, bro. Yeah, it's he not did just thing. leather. He did his thing. Yeah. He did his thing. Yeah, he killed it, bro. He did his thing. Um, shout out to a couple people that's done customs for me. Yeah, man. Uh, customs by Cash. Right. Right. Uh, I think he's in the Atlanta area. Yeah. And then my yeah. boy out of Houston, Texas. No, uh, right. No, 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 oh, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I, yeah, he, I've seen him, I, you know what, I'm not a Pittsburgh Steelers fan, but he did one of the Pittsburgh Steelers on a, I think, I want to say it was 11, like, it got, like, the steel plates on the front. He killed it. Killed it. Yeah. I said, oh, snap, yeah. he ain't playing, bro. That, that man, he, he deserves he, that great. Like, there's a couple, and you know this, you nice. know, this is not going to be the last time we talk about customers, you know how I feel about customers. Right, right. So, yeah, shout out to those guys, man, no who's done a couple for me, if I had the money, it probably be a lot more, Yo, so I don't look like everybody else. And shout out to uh, the Jesus uh, Customs too, who did that Air Jordan One 
Oh. With the purple on it. Oh. Mikey. Oh. <laughs> Bit that idea. Oh, Lord, I can't seem doing? to get no credit, but it's good. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we, Come on, gonna, man. I'm claiming that. Yeah, We're going to reel it in just that a little us. bit. We're going to reel it in, man. I'm cool. What other topics we got for them today, man? Yo, man. Um, so check it out. Uh, parents and kids, right? Yeah. So I'm a, I'm a recent parent, right? I got a, I got a two-year-old. So my thing is I want to keep my, my baby fresh. Yeah. Right? So... Do we over go overboard with the kids on the kicks? I mean, the prices are overboard. The price is crazy. Cause I know, like, when I try to buy some kicks from like, like maybe a godson or a nephew or something like that, I'm like, hey, young boy, I can go ahead and swap something, real, cop something real quick, and but, it's like, so uh, us copping what we cop, like we want them to be fresh like us. I mean, is this is this psycho or psychological? I mean, does it make sense? Well, I mean, as far as fast as they grow out the shoes, it to me it doesn't really make sense. Really make like sense I'm, I'm gonna keep you in some, I'm gonna keep you in some regular Converse first couple of years, bro. <laughs> to, to you can be solid for a year, right. your shoe size, bro. And it's stable. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. They, they know nothing about an Adidas superstar. Nah, they don't. Know a Jordan they, Eleven. They don't know they fresh. I'm guilty right. of buying them all, but he, know, all he bro. knows is Paw Patrol. Right. That's all he knows. <laughs> That's all he knows. Put Paw Patrol on his feet, he'd probably be like, Oh he my happy. God. Yeah. Right. Yeah, right. so that's all. That might be us. That might be us. That might be. I never that's thought about thing. that. I never thought about that. That's a mental thing, right there. Because right. I, I definitely sound like my mom sounded back in the day when I go in there and buy sneakers for people. Right. Like I'd be like, "Sheesh, yeah. Lord, yeah, did they just make this shoe? And is it made out of gold? Like that's that's how the price that's is. That's the realness. Like, yeah, I guess we learned the value of a dollar, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, uh, uh. All good, bro. All good. Uh, another thing that I kind of wanted to talk about was. You know the uh, platforms for resellers. You got StockX. Yeah. You got Go. Of course, you had the OG eBay. Yeah, yeah. eBay. Right. Shout out eBay. OG. PayPal. Yeah. Well, you know. You know. Cause help so, me down when I bought some Fugues. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, we won't go there. We won't go there. All right. All right. Those are sad days. Speaking Ooh. history, but Ooh. anyways, man. We all been there. Ooh. I mean, can we live without these now? StockX, Go eBay, I don't, I don't think we can. If we making them the law of the land as far as the like whether a shoe is like whether a shoe is like real or not, I don't know, man. Like I, I see a couple people, and I'm not taking shots. I'm just saying I see a couple people that's supposed to be the end all be all, and a couple of these places supposed to be end all be all as far as all oh, this is authentic. Like man, I'm not saying it's not fake shoes, but if I ask you where you got your shoe from, right. Right. You gotta give me a whole story. Like, how you went to the store? Fell off the car. Did, uh, <laughs> did you buy, you bought it online and came to your house? But then when you bought it for Susie Mary's kid, you know who be making too many changes. Yeah, he be doing too much stuff in his in his in his little garage with sneak. Like, I don't. Uh, what are, What are some dislikes and likes that you have about him? I mean, to for me. One of the likes would at least be, all right, so a lot of people flock there for the hype stuff, right? Yeah. But for me, it's able, it, it gives me a way to go back and check for the stuff that has lost that hype. Yeah. And yeah. it's filled below yeah. retail. Yeah, because you know me, like, I'm an Air Jordan 1 guy. Yeah. Um, It definitely gives me a chance to go back and get sneakers that I, like, to me, while you guys might be checking for the newest, hottest stuff, I, I'm on there trying to see if I can get a... New York Knicks Air Jordan 1. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm trying to get like a, a Gucci Air Jordan 1. Boom. You know? Like, that's Boom. what I'm doing. Like, right. so that gives me a chance. And most times, 13, 14, good luck, Jahan. Yeah. Good yeah. luck, bro. Yeah, it ain't going to work. But yeah, I mean, that that's cool. I let everybody else do the hype stuff. I had a rule from a couple of years ago for when they had all the issues with the Air Jordan 11s mm -hmm. um, as far as people getting beat up and shot and everything like that. Right. If right. I have to... And it's just my prerogative. Like, if I have to put on a shoe that's going to possibly cost me my life, nah, I ain't doing it. Bro. Right, uh, right. Keep me in the regular, regular schmegular and people keep walking past <laughs> me, bro. I know I was able to cop a $200 pair for $85. That was the Packers, a jury, a uh, blue pair. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Couldn't tell you nothing. No quality, nah. Couldn't tell you nah. nothing. Ain't nothing nah. like when you get the shoe that you... And like, I owns them in Italy. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Wow, that's so, like that's 
Oh, that's that's so like passport that. worthy yeah, right there. Okay, yeah. gotcha. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah, that's how that's how I feel. But that's why I am on it. I know? mean, yeah, really and truly, I think it's even a little bit more sustainable than going to these, you know, sneaker cons and right. I, There's no I, hassle really involved. The ticket buying. The you ever been to that lines. pit at sneaker cons? Oh yeah. That's real, right? That's like the wild, wild west. It That's is. like the jungle, man. That's right. crazy, bro. Like you get overwhelmed a little bit, bro. It's crazy. It's, crazy, it's so bro. much moving parts, so much stuff going on. It's you know, behavior. It's weird. I be, I be in a it weird spot when I go to those events, man. It takes I see all them sneakers sitting around that could possibly be on people's feet. Sit around trying to make that extra dollar. If that's how you get your money, man. More power to you. More power to you. Bro. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. But is no, that no hate from us, right? No, nah, no, nah, I'm good. Never no hate, bro. <laughs> no. Never no hate, bro. No. You just might be good at something that I wasn't. Bam. That's, that's what it is. That's it. Bro. <laughs> that's it. Man. Um, had to qu ask you one final question. What's that? Um, I know we've had this conversation, but for the people, what's your favorite silhouette of all time? Oh, so the six. So what about the six? Because, you know, what, what what makes the six stand out for you? It's the styling. It's the styling. I mean, it looks it looks like a car. Gotcha. I mean, the, the, the heel tab on it, just the overall design of the shoe. Yeah. Now, granted, it's probably not the most comfortable yeah. Air Jordan. Really? No. To you, it's not. Okay. No, it can be a little stiff. Okay. But the... You don't need a lot of colors to really make this shoe. The styling alone is what, what takes it home. Red yeah. and black usually, killer. Favorite okay. colorway, 2010 Varsity Red, multiple pairs in the closet right so, now. So, so can you tell me the difference between the Varsity Red and the other stuff they be putting out? No. Oh. What, recently? Yeah, last uh, couple of years. Man, yeah. they bastardized my shoe, man. Really? Yeah, yeah, too much is going on. Okay. Way too much. So just keep it simple, man. Keep it simple. Yeah, just keep so it. So you excited about that Jimmy Butler six, possibly? Possibly, yeah. So you excited about yeah, that one? Yeah. Right. Um, were you excited about? <laughs> don't don't the, say that flight jacket, <laughs> that green. No, no. No, no. You didn't. No, no, you wasn't. No. What about? Did they have no, some? Did. They had some weed sixes. They did. Nah. The okay, ones were no, better. The ones were better. Yeah. Um, let me see what other sixes came out. Cause I, I I know I'll hit you first like oh these coming out you are like nah bro that ain't it yeah well they just recently had that um, I guess that orange and white pair with a little hint of gray in it too yeah that was pretty recent too no that, not that one nah. okay now nah. one last question for you mm -hmm. and I'll tell you what my sneaker is difference between sixes and sevens to you difference yeah because mm, you just say the first you know, shoe for you was a cardinal right I and that's a seven right so 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 difference that's right. That's right. So difference to me is that seven is, you know, it's it's like you had that Mercedes Benz, the, the kind of the square one. Yeah. And then it kind of went to the more curved with the with the bubble. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we talk about early two thousands then. Okay. Well, you know what I mean. As yeah, far as how yeah. it goes from one body shape. Yeah, to another, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm getting at. The seven, it was there. It was on sale. Omega Sports Greensboro, no Cadillac. Yeah. Moms broke me off. Okay, cool. You got them. All right. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I always wanted the six though. Okay. The six was always my favorite. Okay, cool. Okay, okay, okay. But it wasn't hidden for seventy five dollars at Omega Sports. Nah, nah, nah. Uh, nah. And they feel like they just started really putting sixes back out, right? Yeah. I know for a while you couldn't really find. Like you was gonna pay ridiculous prices for sixes. Oh yeah. Bro. Oh yeah. For a long the time. The was at five hundred dollars. Once the hype, you know, once Kanye put them on. Oh. We yeah we gonna leave that alone. Okay, well, I'm just saying. Dude. <laughs> okay, so um, <laughs> so as we know, my favorite shoe that I like to collect is the Air Jordan One. My favorite silhouette of all time, and you know, ever since Nike started with that Air Max day, the prices just started shooting back up. Oh yeah, brother. It's that Air Max ninety. I love the Air Max One too, by mm -hmm. the way, mm -hmm. but them joints too narrow on my feet. But the yeah. Air Max ninety five, you gotta understand, I'm from I'm from up top. Like, you put some 95s on my feet, I'm good. Like, all is good with the world, bro. What is it about that shoe? It's just the comfortability. Like, it's just, it's not doing too much. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And it's just like, it don't matter what colorway you put on it. Right. 
Most of the time, it's a win. I it's, like, it's not too many Air Max 95s you've seen. And you be like, what the fuck? Right, like, right. Yo, why did you do that to my shit? Like, right. you just want to... You just like want to smack somebody, like, right. like why? You know what the I mean? The Halloween joint from a couple years ago was dope. The day white versions were dope. Like, whatever you want to do on it, bro. Kill it. Like, I, actually, not too long ago, I was, I forgot where I was, and I seen the green with the orange, and I was like, yo, this is a hot, like, Halloween color right now. Mm -hmm. And everything else that came out in that coloring, to me, look like uh, trash. But the '95, right? Like you just can't. That design was. Yeah, it was flawless, it was a head. bro. It was flawless, a head. bro. It was a head. Flawless, bro. Yeah. Like I just, that's my favorite silhouette. I probably go to the grave screaming that. Man. Yeah. Yeah, man, that's how I feel, man. So, um, on that note, this has been the first episode of the drop. Um, Sneak ambassadors, it's one sneaker nation. Um, just talking kicks, talking things that are happening. Well, if you have any topics that you want to send our way, just let us know in the comments. Um, if you like what we had to say, just give us a follow, tell a friend, we'll post it. All day. You know, let us know what you want to hear from us. And, and, um, us and tag us like when your favorite customizers, man. You know, yeah, really do yeah. That. And people that's doing it, like yeah. if you doing it in a sneaker video and we've noticed you, like, Chances are we're going to give you a shout out and let the world know about you and what you're doing. That's always been my dream from yeah. anything I've done with sneakers. Like, there's so much things going on in the sneaker community. Like, I want the world to know. That's right. All right? No so, thanks for hanging out with us. We appreciate y'all, man. Catch you on the next episode. The Drop.